So now I am going to give you sums or nearest uh, nearing the hundreds place value. Okay. So before this, we did how to near the tens value. Now we are going to do how to near the hundreds value. Okay. Are you ready? Fine. Here is your first question. So the first question says you need to round off for the nearest hundreds, and your options are. 100, 200, 300 and none of these. Okay, now since I am asking you to 100 to do the rounding off of 100's value, you need to check the next one which is the tens value. When we were rounding off the tens, we were checking the value of ones and we were rounding it off, right? Now, when we are rounding the hundreds, we are going to see what value is the very next number, which is what is the value of the 10? Is it greater than 5 or less than 5? Okay. So, here it is 179, the number 7. So, is 7 greater than 5 or less than 5? Good. It is greater than 5. So, we are going to round it off to the next level. So, after 1, what will come? It's 2, right? So, your right answer will be 200. So, the nearest hundreds value for this number is 200. Got it? Shall we do some more to make the concept clear? Okay, here is your next question. So, now you need to round off the number 302 and your answers are 200, 300, 400, and 500 okay so now when i am saying 302 what is my tens value it is 0 which is again less than 5 so what am i going to do now i am going to round it in the preceding nearest hundreds value which is for this 302 what will be the number preceding good it is 300 right so my nearest hundreds value will be option b which is 300 Got it children? Okay. So, here is my next question. You need to tell me what is the nearest hundreds for 543. And my options are 400, 500, 600 and 700. Check the tens value. What number is this? It is 4. So, is it above 5 or below 5? Good, it is below 5. So, what you need to do? You need to convert it into the preceding hundreds value. So, what will be for this value then? It should be 500. Very good. So, answer B, 500 is the right option. Are you able to understand children? Shall we do some more? Here is your options. Yes. See here. The next question says 990 and my options are A900, B1000, C800 and D1000. So, what is this digit? It is 9 and it is greater than 5. So, I will be converting it to the succeeding nearest 100. So, after 900, what is the next number which will come? 1000, right? Where do you find 1000 here? Good, it is option B. So, the nearest 100's value will be 1000. Okay? So, the next one, the next digit for you is 875. And your options are 900, 800, 700, or none of these. Tell me the number is 7 which is greater than 5. So, I will be rounding it off to the succeeding nearest 100. So, after 800 what is the near next number? It is 900 and where can you find 900 here? Yes, it is option A. You got it correct. Okay, 
the last sum for this pattern, here comes your question. It is 663, okay? And your options are 500, 600, 700 or 800. It is 663, 6, which is greater than 5. So, after 600, what is the next succeeding hundreds? 700, good. And where can you find 700? It is option C. So, option C is my right answer. So, are you able to follow this pattern children? Was it useful for you? Were you able to gain new informations from practicing these questions? I hope you enjoyed it, right? <laughs>